Hello Tipsters and Tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. Today I have the as promised hair tutorial from my last video which I will link up above. You guys loved the eyeshadow look but so many people asked me to do the hair so I thought I would follow up with that today. It's going to be a voiceover video because it is something I have to concentrate on quite closely just because of the little like tricky itty bitty bits that I have to do with the comb. But I will do a voiceover and explain everything for you guys so follow along with me and let's get started. So for this look, you're going to need a Stronghold hairspray, a tail comb, and a brush. You'll also need some clips. I'm using these, but bobby pins will be fine. Part the hair down the middle, and then we're going to start by combing the front sections towards the back of the head before combing them in a circular motion or a half circle. So essentially what we're going to be doing is creating finger waves on dry hair. So that half circle shape is really important. You want to be creating little scallops. Then pin that first arc into place. Make sure this first clip is really, really firm. Then you're going to place your comb into your hair, drag the hair forward, and then push it slightly back up in the direction that you just came, forming a ridge in the hair. Place your hand to hold the ridge in place, and then put a bobby pin just underneath the ridge to keep it locked in. Then you're going to create another semicircle so that your hair sits over your eyebrow and creates a forward loop over the face. Then repeat that ridge making process by placing the comb and pushing upwards. Pop a pin in each direction that the hair is going for the finger wave just to hold everything in place once you've let it go. I like to pop a pin in that front part just to stop the hairs from sticking up when I spray. You can see the two ridges that I've created. Those little peaks are what gives a true 1930s look. Now you want to spray it all down nice and solidly. Your hair should literally be crunchy and while it's still wet, poke those stray hairs back into the hairstyle. Now repeat on side two. Once both sides have been finger waved, separate out these front little sections of hair to make pin curls or kiss curls on the face on each side. I have already got shorter bangs because I've got a 60s style haircut at the moment but if you have long ones just make a full pin curl and then place them and pin them so that you can spray them without them coming undone. On this side my hair is slightly longer so as you can see instead of just turning it up on itself I'm doing a full pin curl and rolling it up before pinning it and spraying it into place. I also try and spray it so it sticks to my face just so that when I move it doesn't pull away from my face which looks a bit weird so you want to make sure they're actually stuck down. Then I pulled my hair back into a low ponytail and rolled the hair underneath to create a low bun. It doesn't need to be perfect it's just the general shape. Then pin it on down. I start with normal long bobby pins just to anchor the hair in first. Use as many as you need. I certainly used a lot. And then I just sort of shape as I go and add more pins as needed. Then I take these U-shaped bobby pins just to try and neaten the back and any bits that are kind of trying to fall out of the bun before facing the mirror again and just deciding how I want my hair to frame my face, how tight I want that bun to be and which sort of bits I want looping down near my ears. Once it's sitting how I like, I pop some of these U-shaped ones in again, just to anchor everything and to get these little stray loops out of the way. Until I get something a bit like this. Then once again, I spray it all down so it doesn't go anywhere. Try and smooth down any flyaways as you go and anything that continues to stick out, again, bobby pin it down. Don't forget to spray underneath that bun so that nothing rolls out while you're heading out about your day. Now it's time to take the clips out. Do this really carefully. It is so easy to ruin the whole hairstyle whilst you're taking the clips out. So just make sure you hold your hair in place as you pull the pins out one by one. The only pins that I leave in this hairstyle are the ones sitting under the second ridge or that main scallop that's coming over my eyebrow. This is just to anchor the whole hairstyle in place. As you can see, I'm just replacing it here on this side to give you an idea of how it looks. Give everything another spritz in case it got pulled away by taking the clips out. 
and there you go that's the finished hairstyle guys no heat no set 1930s hair with kiss curls so that's the video guys i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video any future suggestions you might have or any questions you have come and follow me on my instagram join us in the video tips and tricks facebook group we would love to have you and i will see you in the next video bye